our help is in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, O God. We bless you, mighty God. We give you praise. We honor you. We magnify you. We lift you high, Lord. We bless your name, O God. You are so good, so good, so good have you been to us, Lord. So good are you to us, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My favorite psalm is Psalm 46. It says, Our God is a very present help in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the mists of the sea, though its waters roar and are troubled, though the mountains shake with the swearings. Lord, we magnify you this morning. For you have been a strength. You have been a strength to the poor. You have been, O oh God, a strength to the needy in our distress. You have been our refuge, O oh God, from the storm. You have been, Father, our shade from the heat. Lord God Almighty, we are here again this morning because we need you. We need you. We need you. We need you again and again. We need you as always, oh God. We need you to help us. We need you to help us. For we are poor, oh God, we are needy. And your gospel is for the poor and the needy. We need help. We need the help of God desperately. We need your help, oh God, passionately. Lord God Almighty, we need your help to breathe. We need, Father, your help to stand to walk. We need your help, Lord God Almighty, to run. Father, we need your help. To get a job, we need your help. To get married, we need your help. To stay married, we need your help. To get accommodation, Lord, we need your help. To build a house, we need your help, Lord. To buy a car, to go from A to B, oh God, we need, we need the help the help of the only God. We need, we need your help, Lord God Almighty, to pass our exams, to run our businesses, Lord. Oh, Father Lord, we need your help to brush our teeth in the morning, to comb our hair, Lord. We need your help to cross the road, Lord. We need your help to wake up in the morning. We need your help, Father Lord God Almighty, to go to work, even to come back home at night. We need your help. We need you, oh God, because we are living in dangerous times. We need you, oh God, because diseases are ravaging. We need you, oh God, because arrows are flying by day and night. We need you, oh God, because there are serpents determined to bite us. Lord, we need your help. 
We need your help. We need your help, oh God. Because we are in over our head. We need your help, oh God, because we are at the end of our rope. We need your help, Father Lord, because we can't even help ourselves. We can't even help ourselves. And Lord, we don't need we don't need the help of man. We don't need the help of men. The help of man is useless, oh God. Lord God Almighty, we will not trust in princes. We will not trust because in the Son of Man, there is no help. We will not trust in the man whose breath is in his nostrils. Father, Lord God Almighty, if you don't help us, we are done for. If you don't help us, we're in trouble. If you don't help us in this pandemic times, we would soon enter the silence of death. And so this morning, we're here to tell the Lord, we will not go down to Egypt for help. We will not trust in horses. We will not depend on horsemen. We will not trust in chariots. We will look only to the Holy One of Israel. We will not lift up our eyes to the hills because we know our help does not come from the hills. We know where our help comes from. It only comes from the Lord. The maker of the heavens and the earth. Lord God Almighty, it is your help we need. For there is no one, there is no one like Jehovah, the Lord who rides the heavens with the enemy is the arm of flesh, but with the Lord our God. <laughs> is a mighty, mighty power. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are our glory. You are the one who lifts up our heads. You, O oh Lord, don't be far from us. Don't hide from us. Don't hide your face from us, O oh God. Don't turn your children away in anger, O oh God. You have been our help, Father, Lord God Almighty. Don't leave us. Don't leave us, don't forsake us, O oh God of our salvation. You are our deliverer. You are our strength. Please make haste to help us. You are our triumphant sword, O oh God. Send help to us from your sanctuary, O oh Lord. Strengthen us, Father, out of Zion. Help us. O oh God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, O oh God, deliver us from pestilence, from plague, from the plague, from viruses. Arise and save us, O oh God. For you have struck all our enemies on the cheekbone. You've broken the teeth of the ungodly, O oh God. Help us, our Father just at the break of dawn. We shall yet praise you for the help of your countenance. Lord Jesus, only you, only you, only you, Jesus, only you can help us. Only you can hide us in the secret of your presence. Only you can hide us in your pavilion. Only you can protect us from the terror by night. 
from the arrows by day. Only you can help us, protect us from the pestilence that walks in darkness. Only you can deliver us of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. We declare this morning, there is no salvation in any other name. Neither is any other name given among men by which we must, by which we must be saved. For it is the precious, the precious Holy Spirit who helps us in all our infirmities. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to read the Bible. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to read the scriptures without falling asleep. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to read the Bible without eating and drinking. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to pray. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to pray without falling asleep. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to pray without buying and selling. It is the Holy Spirit who helps us to fast. It is he who is at work enabling us to be as God wants us to be. Oh, it is God. Only God can make us do what we cannot do. Yes, with God, we can pray for hours. With God, we can go to vigils. With God, we can pray and fast for days on end. With God, we can read the Bible for hours on end. With God, we can wake up every night at exactly the right time to spend time with the Lord. With God, we can interpret tongues with God. We can operate the gifts of the spirit with God. We can have the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom with God. We can do all things. We can do all things. We can do all things through Christ. And that strengthens us. Yes, he strengthens us. Oh, Lord Jesus. You are the creator of heavens and the earth. You created all things, oh God, and without nothing was created that you did not create, Lord Jesus. Therefore, we know. We know you can make us exactly what you want us to be. You can make us fulfill our destiny, oh God. You can make us overcome our shortcomings, oh God. You can make us rise up and walk. Lord God Almighty, you are the one who performs all things to us performs all things for us. You are our enabler, O oh God. You are the strength of our life. You are the one that speaks and things come to pass. You are a Ebenezer, O oh God. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are the one who upholds us with your right hand. You are our defense. You are our reliance, O oh God. You are our dependence, O oh God. Father, Lord, God Almighty, we have confidence only in you. Confidence only in you. With your help, with your help, Lord, nothing is impossible to us. With your help, Lord, we can build our own house. With your help, Lord, we will buy our own car. With your help, Lord, we will have our own children and bring them up in godly ways, oh God. With your help, we can provide for our family. We can put food on the table, Lord God Almighty. We can put clothes on our back with your help. With your help, Lord God Almighty, we can get rewarding and fulfilling jobs. With your help, oh God, we can pay our rent. With your help, Father Lord God Almighty, we can pay 
the school fees of our children become free. Lord God Almighty, with your help, we will be promoted. With your help, Jehovah, we will overcome sin. With your help, Father Lord God Almighty, we will be like you. With your help, Jehovah, we will overcome the world. With your help, oh God, we will walk on our high places because you, Lord, you, you, mighty God, you will take us to that rock that is so much, so much higher, so much higher than we are. And so, Father, Lord God Almighty, we are calling upon you this morning to save us from all the demons of life, to save us from all the vicissitudes of this life, to save us from all the negativities of this life. Oh God, Father, Lord God Almighty, we say, you, Lord Jesus, you, you, only you, you are our savior. You are our savior. Our savior is not a lie. We will not be saved by lies, oh God. We will not be saved by bribes. By bribing the policeman on the road, we will not be saved. We will not be saved, oh God, by theft. No, no. We will not be saved, Father Lord God Almighty, by a quarrel. We will not be saved, Father Lord God Almighty, by a fight, by an abuse. No. We will not be saved, oh God, by shouting much. No, 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 Lord. Our Savior is not deception. Our Savior is not a judge. We will not be saved by a divorce. No, Lord. Our Savior, our only Savior, is our God. Our only Savior is the Lord. Our only Savior is the Lord. And so, Lord God Almighty, we say this morning, we need you to help us. We need your help. Make haste, oh God, to help us. For the help of man is vain. Father, Lord, don't delay, don't delay. We need you to help us, Lord. In every detail of our life, we need the help of God. We need your help, oh Lord. Help us, Father Lord. Help us. Help us. We have toiled all day. We have caught nothing, Lord. But you can help us. We have tried our very best. We always come short of the glory of God. And that's why we say this morning, we need you, Lord, to help us. We have done all that we can, but to no avail. Lord, we need your help. We need your help. We've tried not to get angry, but we've lost our temper. Lord, we need your help. We need your help. We've tried not to be covetous. But we could not help ourselves. We could not help it. Because we want to be the one that bought the car that our neighbor bought. Lord, we need you. We need you to help us. We've tried to remain pure in heart, but we have lost it in our hearts, oh God. We need you. We need you to help us, Lord. We need you to deliver us, oh God. We need you to help us to hold our captivity captive, oh God. We have discovered that we simply cannot help ourselves. Even when we delight in the law of the Lord, according to the inward man. It is that which we don't want to do that we do. And it is that which we want to do that we don't. And so only you, 
Only you, only you can deliver us from this body of death. Only you, oh God. Only you. And that's why we need you, Lord Jesus. We need you to be who you are. We need you to be who you are in our lives. We need you as our savior. We need you to create in us a new heart, oh God. We need you, Father, to renew the right spirit within us. We don't want to keep to make promises that we cannot keep. We don't want to make resolutions that we cannot fulfill. Because unless you help us, we know we will fall short again. Unless you help us, we know we will keep sinning against you. Unless you help us, Lord, we know we will keep falling down. Lord God Almighty, we can do nothing unless you help us. We can't be anything unless you make us that thing. We ask that you quicken us, otherwise we will not call upon your name. Draw us, Lord, so we can run after you. For it is you and only you who works in us, both to will and to do for your good pleasure, oh God. We must be your workmanship created in Christ Jesus. For without you, we can do nothing. Without you, we are done for. In everything, oh God, you are the doer of the work. You are the doer of the work. Our responsibility, oh God, is to believe that you are the doer of the work. So therefore, this morning, we come boldly before your throne of grace that we may obtain grace. We obtain mercy because today, as every day, every day is a time of need, oh God. We have come to receive the grace that is sufficient unto today, the grace that will keep us for today, the grace that will enable us today, the grace that will strengthen us, energize us, uphold us for today. Lord Jesus, you said to a young man that came to see you, you said one thing you lack, one thing you lack, as it was in the days of Noah, when there were all oh, so many Christians, as it was in the days of Noah, when there were so, so, so many mighty men and women of God. But alas, alas, they all perished in the flood. Because they lacked just one thing. They lacked just one thing, one thing, one thing. They failed to get into the ark. Similarly today, oh God. Today. For many of us, there's just one thing we lack. There's only one thing, Lord. But it's the main thing. There's only one thing, Lord, because of that one thing. Heaven is brass for us. There's only one thing, Lord, but because of that one thing, our prayers go unanswered. There's only one thing, Lord, but because of that one thing, we always seem to fail at the edge of breakthrough. Because of one thing, our relationships fail. Because of that one thing, oh God, the enemy always has the last laugh over us. Yes, 
It is only one thing, oh God, but that one thing is needful. That one thing is needful. And so we ask you, oh God, we ask you, mighty God, we ask you, precious Lord, that you help us to choose that one thing that will not and cannot be taken away from us. What is that one thing, Lord? Speak it to us, tell us. What is that one thing that we lack? What is that thing, oh God, that we have overlooked? What is that one thing, oh God, that is weighing us down? What is that one thing that is preventing us from being fully committed to you, oh God? The Bible says, Nehemiah was a great man. He's a great man, an honorable man, a great warrior, a mighty man of valor. But he was a leper. He was a rich man. He was highly exalted in society. He was a military hero. He was decorated with national honors for his military powers. People looked to him as a savior, but one thing was missing. One thing, one thing, one thing was a fly in his ointment. He was a leper. That one thing overshadowed every other thing. Lord, we know. We know that every man has some but in his or her character, some blemish, some stain, some wrinkle some fly in the ointments, some damp in his joy, some cramp in his style. Or it is a little fox that spoils the whole vine. Nehemiah was not known as Nehemiah the Honorable. He was not known as the Nehemiah the Mighty Man of Valor. He was not known as the Nehemiah the the military hero. He was known as Nehemiah the leper. He was known by his inadequacy. Oh, Bartimius might have been a handsome man. He might have been an intelligent man. He might have had unusual insight, but who cares? He was blind. Nobody called him Bartimius the intelligent. He was not Bartimius the handsome. He was Bartimius the blind. He was blind, the Bartimius. That one thing, that one thing he lacked. That was what it was all about. That one thing was the devil's weapon against Bartimius. That one thing, oh God, was the yeast that leavened the whole lump. Was the yeast that fermented his whole bread. And so, Lord God Almighty, we're here again this morning for spiritual checkup. We're here again, Father Lord God Almighty, for you to examine us here again, Father Lord God Almighty, because we need your healing touch. We're here again, Father Lord God Almighty, because we need your enablement. We're here, Father Lord God Almighty, because we need your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, yes. We have fished all night. 
we have got nothing. What are we doing wrong, O oh Lord? What do we lack? We have fasted, we have prayed, oh God, what do we lack? We need you. We need you. We need you to tell us. We need you to tell us. We need to know what they are. Because we cannot do anything about them. We need to know what they are, Father Lord God Almighty. Because they're, it is, they're preventing us from bearing the fruits of repentance. We need to know what they are, oh God, to bring them under the blood of Jesus for cleansing. We need to know, oh God, in order to pray for deliverance. We need to know. We need to know, oh God, for the word of God is quick. It is powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow. Because your word, oh God, is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Spirit of a living God. Spirit of a living God. We're here again, here again this morning for a checkup. Please tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us those things we lack so that you can help us make amends. Tell us now while there is still time. Tell us now so as we walk in your light, the blood of Jesus can cleanse us from it. Tell us now so there is no impairment in our fellowship with you. Tell us, oh God, so you can take us from faith to faith, you can take us from glory to glory. Search us, oh God, and know our hearts. Cry us, oh God, and know our thoughts. And see, Father Lord, if there is any wicked way in us so that you can lead us in the everlasting way. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God our Father. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. The law means we must do something for God. But grace means God has done something for us. Our God will wait until we admit defeat. He will wait until the, we reach the point of utter, utter despair despair in ourselves until we finally give up. Until we stop trying, we we'll start relying. For as long as we insist on doing it by ourselves, God is not inclined to intervene on our behalf. And so we are here this morning and the recognition that our individual ability and initiative are impertinent to God. God hardly ever asks us to do what we can do. God enables us to live a life we could never live and to do a work we could never do. For, the, for, for, for with man, the works of God are impossible.
but with God all things, all things are possible. Therefore, this morning, we come to God admitting that we need help. We cannot stop lusting. We cannot stop fighting. We cannot stop smoking. We cannot stop drinking. We cannot stop gambling. We cannot stop arguing. We can make all the resolutions we want. We can be as, as, as determined as we like. But no matter what the leopard does, he cannot change his spots. And so we come. We come to you, our Father. We come to you, our Lord and our God. The one who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask and think. We come to you, O God, and we ask from the Lord God Almighty that you do it for us, do it for us, help us. Help us, Jehovah, help us, mighty God. Help us, King of Kings. Help us, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Stephen, are you back? Yes, sir. Pray for us, please. Most High God, we thank you for this moment of fellowship. We glorify your name, O oh God, for you are who you say you are. Even though we doubt in so many instances and some of our actions seems to be taken for granted, we recognize, O oh Lord, that you are a merciful God. And without you, we can do nothing. As we grow each day in time and the age, we begin to realize, oh Lord God Almighty, that the stories we read in the scriptures are not so far first. We oftentimes ask why some of these Bible characters couldn't see and understand, even after so much has been demonstrated in their lives. Even now in our own lives, we are beginning to see that we are not any different. It is only by your enablement that we are able to stand. Father, we ask you, oh God, let our faith not fail. Let our hearts not be submissive to the rule of sin. Let our desires, oh God, never be in exchange for the lust of the eyes or the desires of the flesh. Help us, O oh Lord, to walk the straight and narrow path. Because when we look within ourselves, there is nothing in us that we should treasure. There is nothing in us that we should celebrate. The only thing that matters and that should matter is you, O oh Lord, in our lives, in our hearts. We ask you, O oh God Almighty, please, please, O oh Lord. It is written, except the Lord builds a house, the builder builds in vain. Except the Lord keep watch, the watchman obviously watches in vain. You are the God who builds and it stands. You are the God who watch, watches and we are secured. You are the God who provides and we are fed. You are the God who forgives and we are forgiven. Father, we know that we can as well be in any other place right now doing any other thing, but we are here praying, O oh Lord, to you. Even though we may not see you physically with our eyes, we know by faith that you are with us and you hear us. We are connected to you in spirit. 
So we ask you, O oh God, hear our pleas today, hear our voice. Have mercy upon us. Help us, O oh God. We cannot stand. If you don't help us to stand, O oh Lord, we will fail. If you don't help us, O oh Lord, we will fail. You are the shorty, the very assurance that life is or life can offer. Most high God, please have mercy upon us. Let us not fall by the wayside. Let us not be among those who will be considered of this open love as forsaken, or those who have reprobate mind, or those who seem ruling over them, or those who do not believe or have faith in you. Most high God, help us. Because there is no bigger, greater prayer than to pray, O oh Lord, that you help us. You said the, the kingdom of God belongs to children. These are children who will always depend on their parents. They will always anchor every desire, every need, every expression on their parents, knowing with the confidence that the parents will deliver. We ought to have that confidence in you and about you. Help us to only see you and understand you, O oh Lord, in the way that will bring glory to your name and in a way that will help us to be close and intimate with you. Help us, O oh God. Have mercy upon us, Almighty oh God. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Dr. please pray for us. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We exalt your holy name. Father, we thank you once again for your grace and mercy that has been upon our life. We thank you because you have been our father. We thank you because you have been our shield. Father, we thank you because you never leave us nor forsake us. You have been our strength. You have been our wisdom. In our going out and our coming in, it is because of you. Father, we appreciate you. We thank you in every area as Jehovah Lord, we thank you. We thank you, King of Kings, concerning each and every single member of Healing Wings. Father, we thank you because your word is being fulfilled in our life. We thank you from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, till the end of the year that we are in now. Father, we exalt your holy name. Mm. Father, we give you glory, give you honor, give you adoration. We appreciate you, Jesus. We celebrate your name. We celebrate your, your word, Father Lord. We thank you because your will that is being done in our life, we magnify you. We are in December, the overlord. We thank you because you make November to be a November to remember in our life. Father, we appreciate you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Holy Spirit, Lord, King of King, our Father and our God. Father, we want you to help us to be like you. We want you to help us to walk in your ways. We want you to help us to be able to be able to know what to do at the right time. Everlasting King, your King, open our eyes. We want to see you, Jehovah. Open our ears. We want to hear your words. At every point of our life, Father Lord, when whenever we look for you, we will let us always find you. Give when you speak to us, speak to us in plain language, not in parables. Speak to us as children because we are your children. Father, I make every impossibility in our life be possible. Oh, Jehovah, King of King, Lord, Lord, where every single declaration that we make before you, Jehovah, Lord, let it come to pass. Let it be fulfilled in our life. Oh, Jehovah, Lord, you, because your word says we will go through the fire, you will be with us. Say we are in the wind, you will be with us. In the midst of trouble, you will be with us. Father, Lord, King of King, Lord, Lord, power to go through the trouble, Father, come and give it to us. Mm -hmm. Wisdom to overcome, to overcome every issues of life, Father, give it to us. To us. Oh, Father, let there be light in all our darknesses. Mm -hmm. Father, let there be water in our dryness. Mm -hmm. Oh, give us make a way where there is no way. Switch on your light in the wilderness. Oh, King of King, Lord of Love, is always very good sometimes when we take us through the wilderness, 
for us to learn Jehovah Lord. We want to learn, we want to understand your ways, we want to understand your will, we want to understand every single thing that is happening, the reason why it happened. Father, we ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this become and give it to us. Oh, King of King of Lord, Father, take away every stony heart. Father, take away every stony heart. Give us the heart of flesh. Remove every stony heart, Father, from us. Holy Spirit, Lord. Every heart that, 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 that is unforgiving, Father, remove it from us. Every heart that, 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 that always walking in, in sin, Father, to remove it from us. Father, help us to walk in righteousness. Help us to walk in righteousness. Help us to walk in righteousness. Help us to walk in your ways. Help us to believe, to walk in your will. Father, help us. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us, Jehovah Lord. Help us, King of Kings. Help us, Lord of Lord. Father, help us in every area of our life. Oh, Jehovah Lord, help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Oh, King of Kings, help us. Lord of Lord, help us. Give us the heart to be always be mindful of your will. Of your will to always be mindful of your presence in our life. Father Lord, help us, Jehovah Lord, help us, King of King, help us, Lord, Lord. Father, whenever you speak to us, Father Lord, let us understand. Oh, King of King, Lord, Lord, Father Lord, I ask, I ask for each and every member of your children that cannot speak in tongues because it is your gift. We are your children, it is our inheritance. Father Lord, help us to be able to speak in your language, to be able to speak in tongues. To be able to speak in the in the language of the of, of the kingdom, Father, help us, Holy Spirit, Lord, help us, King of King, help us, Lord of Lord. Father, we ask Jehovah Lord, as we have called, you said this is healing wings, is in the healing ministry. Father, I I ask this morning, Jehovah Lord, give us the power to heal, give us the power to heal, to declare it in and come to pass, to declare sickness and declare whatever sickness are going to. They will receive healing because you said they will burn me in Gilead. Father, in as when you ask, you said whoever will touch and pray for shall receive their healing. Father, now I declare, I decree every sickness concerning healing wings, Jehovah Lord. Father, let it be healed, Jehovah Lord. Let it be healed, Holy Spirit Lord. Let it be healed. Let it be healed. Let it be healed. Father, take away every blindness. Oh, Jehovah Lord, take away every blindness because we are son of the light. Because your word says, you declare, say, let there be light, and there was light. In our understanding, Holy Spirit, Lord, declare your light. In our understanding, let us begin to see you, Jehovah Lord. Let us begin to see the light of the living God. Let us see the light of God in our life. Father, help us. Father, concerning our ministry, Holy Spirit, help us direct our path. Power to walk in our ministry. Power to walk as a prophet. Power to, to, to walk according to your will. Holy Spirit, give it to us. Jehovah Lord, give it to us. Wisdom to walk in our ministry. Wisdom to know our right, our, our left from our right. Wisdom to know our good, to know the good from the evil. Father, I give it to us, Holy Spirit, Lord. Wisdom, wisdom that surpasses every other wisdom. But I give it to us, Father. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Chuchu, -chu, are you with us? Is Chuchu with us? Prince, please pray for us. Our Lord and our God, we thank you. We give you the praise for you are glorious and worthy. Prince, unmute your mic. Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Lord, we've come before you this day. We've come to appreciate you for everything that you've done for us. We've come to acknowledge your power and your love and everything, oh Lord, that you've been doing for us. Lord, we know that by strength we cannot prevail. Lord, we yield ourselves to you, oh Lord. We say, oh Lord, strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Help us, oh Jehovah, as we go out to, to, to our daily activities, oh Lord, give us the strength. Lord, let us not lose you. Let us not lose sight of you. Lord, let our heart, oh Lord, be stayed in you. You said for those that their heart is stayed on you, you keep in perfect peace. Oh Lord, keep us in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. 
our Lord and our God, provide for us, O Lord. Every challenges, every bills that we have for those of us that will be traveling in, in this December. Father, guide and protect us. Give us safe journey in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go and meet our loved ones, O Lord, O Lord, give us joy and peace among them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for everything. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Festus or Rosemary, are you with us? Is Festus with us? Thank you, Father Lord. Father, we want to thank you because you have kept us. You have kept us, O oh Lord, as the apple of your eye. You have kept us from the plague. You have kept us from COVID-19. You have kept us, Father Lord God Almighty, from the Delta variant. Jehovah King of glory. You will keep us from Omicron. You will keep us, Father Lord God Almighty, from every disease because you have said unto those that fear your name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his rays. And so Lord God Almighty, in Healing Wings Chapel of Faith, we receive your healing, O God. Father Lord, we dwell in your Goshen, O God. We thank you that according to your word, according to your promise, you have taken sickness away from us. We thank you, O God, that by the stripes of our Lord Jesus, we are healed of every disease and every infirmity. We thank you, O oh God, because the report of this new variant has nothing to do with us. We will not fear, we will trust. We rely on you, O oh God. That you that saved us yesterday will save us today. You that healed us today will heal us tomorrow. And so we look to you, O oh God. We look to you, Father Lord. And we ask for more grace. We ask for more anointing. The anointing, Father Lord God Almighty, to pray. The anointing, Father Lord God Almighty, to heal. The anointing, O oh God, to deliver. The anointing to decree a thing and it be established. Father, give it to us in the name of Jesus. We ask that you send your angels, O oh God, to strengthen us in you, to strengthen us by our inner man, O oh God, that we may do the work of the ministry, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we may proclaim, Father Lord God Almighty, declare your goodness in this land of the living, Jehovah King of glory. We ask for the grace, O oh God, to seek your face and not just your hand. We ask, Father Lord God Almighty, that you put it in our heart, Father, to yearn after you, to run after you, that Lord God Almighty, you will be the desire of our hearts, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask, Father Lord God Almighty, that you be the treasure that we have in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord God Almighty, we thank you for what you are doing, for what we see that you are doing, for even that which we do not see, but we know that, Father Lord God Almighty, we only see the tip of the iceberg. We know, Lord God Almighty, that you are doing so much more than we can tell, so much more that we can see. We know, Father Lord God Almighty, that even in those difficult things, even in those things that we think are negative, Father Lord God Almighty, you are working salvation. You are working out our salvation. Jehovah King of glory, we ask for the grace not to grumble, the grace not to complain, the grace, Father Lord, to go forward, the grace, Father Lord God Almighty, to climb every mountain with you. The grace, Father Lord God Almighty, to overcome every hill. 
The grace, Father Lord God Almighty, to face Goliath and defeat him. The grace, O oh God, Father Lord God Almighty, to triumph in Christ. We ask for this grace, O oh God, for every single family in healing wings in the name of Jesus. We ask Jehovah King of Glory that you banish fear from us. No fear, no fear, Lord God Almighty, for there is no fear in love. Your perfect love, oh God, we ask that it will banish fear completely from our hearts, but that we will trust you. We will trust in you. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, we thank you that Nigeria does not have a good name in the community of nations. But Lord God Almighty, for so long as this pandemic has been raging, you have made us, Father, Lord God Almighty, a special case. You have protected us, you have healed us, you have defended us. Lord God Almighty, those that want to spoil our name, those that are banning Nigeria from coming to their country, when in fact, Lord, this pandemic is very, it's very mild here, Father, we say you will continue to be our defense. You will continue to be our defense. Yes, Lord, even though we don't have the vaccine, even though Father Lord God Almighty, they have been hoarding it, even so, even so, Father Lord God Almighty, you have ensured that you have saved us from this scourge and you will continue to do so. So we say, Father, as we praise you today, we will praise you tomorrow. We will yet praise you, O oh God, for you will deliver us again and again. You will save us again and again. You will heal us again and again. You will provide for us again and again, protect us again and again. You will be our helper, O oh God. You will be our rock, you will be our defense. Thank you, Father Lord God Almighty, for we see what you're doing the lives of your people in this country, Father, that is reproached as Nigeria, in this country, oh God, and yet you have made this the Goshen for us, your people. We say glory be to your name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Say to the righteous, it is well with you and yours in Jesus' name. Amen.